a definite yes to be a Salvatorian and to serve the church in the footsteps of our founder. So Sirisha diceva questa croce di Gesù, il Divin Salvatore, che con la sua morte e risurrezione ha salvato il mondo. La storia è l'eredità spirituale della congregazione delle suore del Divin Salvatore. The history and spiritual legacy of the congregation of the Sisters of the Divine Saviour are closely linked with that of the Society of the Divine Saviour and the laity. Both religious congregations and the lay Salvatorians have as their beloved father and founder, Father Francis Mary of the Cross, Jordan. With him, Teresa van Buren Weiber devoted herself to entering and building the Congregation of Sisters. He gave the sisters a sole purpose, to make Christ known to all. They were therefore to go indistinctively among rich and poor, believers and unbelievers. They were not to exclude any kind of activity. Their spirit should come from the glory of God and the salvation of souls. We don't have a particular mission. They said, when it is necessary to become a nurse, we become nurses. And when it is necessary to teach children, we become teachers. And when people are in need of, we become pastoral caregivers. I'm so happy that I'm Salvatorian because it's not just, we are just only for youth. No, we are for all the person, no? the entire person, the little ones, the poor ones, the rich one. Any place means everywhere. No, you don't choose the place. As Salvatorian, you go in all the world. Because as we are following the footstep of the apostles so the apostles they go to proclaim to announce jesus christ to all the nations all the people and everywhere in 1954 five sisters from rome came to Sri Lanka as missionaries. So they were from different countries, but they were sent from Rome as missionary to Sri Lanka. And they started with a hospital, and now it is 68 years of presence, our presence in Sri Lanka. Forte e chiara e la sua era la sua. Strong and clear was Father Jordan's insistence on the holiness of every member. He had repeatedly recommended that we become holy precisely because we are called to an apostolate. We are called to be holy. He had strongly encouraged the members to develop an unceasing prayer life and love of the cross. Cuando Madre Maria muore, At the time of Mother Mary's death, the congregation had 31 houses. As the years passed, Father Jordan saw his life's work come to fruition. He had founded the society and congregation on a trust in providence and a poverty that adheres to God alone. And he had consolidated them in a deep apostolic spirit, one of sacrifice, poverty, and ardent zeal. The universality of means, members, places, and activities were their essential characteristics. The charism that Father Jordan and Mother Mary shared concretely grew in two religious foundations and continued to live on in history and in the edification of the church and for the salvation of the world. 
In March 1911, the Society of the Divine Saviour received pontifical recognition. In the same year, on August 18th, the Congregation of Sisters received the decree of praise from the Holy See. And then, on April 29th, 1926, they obtained pontifical approval. A Salvatorian for me is really very interesting and one thing I I am really a passion uh, feel it uh, struck and it appassionated me too much was this inclusive love which is unique for uh, in the Salvatorian charism so being part of this family it is really uh, my great joy and also it is a big uh, responsibility also, being a Salvatorian.